The House Democrats say that while abortion is legal up to that 24th week here in Pennsylvania, it's not always easy to find a provider that offers the procedure. One woman from Lancaster County talked about the difficulty of having to go to York County during a news conference earlier today. From the time that I found out I was pregnant, there was so much hardship placed in front of me the second I made that decision. It was all the hoops I had to drum through, all the time and money took a toll on my life, my studies, my health. House Democrats and leaders with Planned Parenthood Pennsylvania advocates said requiring abortion providers to meet the same health and safety standards as an outpatient surgical center means clinics have closed up because they can't afford a laundry list of structural requirements. Such modifications included mandating specialized elevators, specialized flooring, specialized HVAC units, even had restrictions for how big the hallways could be. But abortion opponents point to those requirements being mandated in 2011, following the grand jury investigation into abortion doctor Kermit Gosnell and deaths and wrongdoing associated with his Philadelphia practice. The law that they want to repeal, or at least part of the law that they want to repeal, deals with health and safety for women in Pennsylvania. Uh, we think that uh, the health and safety of women is at risk when they go into an abortion clinic that's not regulated uh, with health and safety. Leaders with Planned Parenthood say they believe there are proper safeguards in place, even if this legislation were to become law. Now, I will note that leaders on groups that feel on uh, particular way on both sides of this issue of abortion access. They believe that this particular issue is going to continue to be a big topic this year in 2024, not only at the legislature, but also as the election nears later this November. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.